Yo, what is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joking John 4 here, bringing you guys more Madden 15 Ultimate Team, and today I'm bringing you guys game number four. And yes, it has been one week since I last played a game for my Madden Ultimate Team series. And let me tell you guys why. If you guys are barely watching this, go back into my videos and check it out why I waited like a whole week into playing the next game. For those of you guys who have been watching me, you already got you guys already know, but I'm gonna say it again. I got 300,000 coins from a large quick sell pack. And from there, I bought several players. Let me mention you guys who I bought. Luke Keekley, Levante David, Anthony Barr. On offense, it was Anthony Davis, Marshawn Lynch, Doug Martin, and Demarius Thomas. And now, the big question is, were they worth it? Were they worth actually buying? Let me let you in into a little spoiler, guys. It was. My offense now clicks. Everything is just falling into place. My offensive linemen are acting a, lot, a little bit better now. Marshall Lynch was just incredible. He was acting like a goddamn speedback. And the guy has 89 speed and 89 acceleration. I was like, what the hell is going on here? I mean, like, watch this next play. Watch. Just, just keep in your eye on the screen right now. Marshall Lynch with a little run towards the left side. No linebacker, no defensive back can catch up to him. I, I was like, I just ran a 30-yard touchdown with Marshall Lynch. And I thought he was going to run it real goddamn slow. But no, he actually, he's pretty good. I actually thought of the guy like a long time ago. I was like, nah, I'm not going to get Marshall Lynch because he's pretty slow. I want a guy with a high acceleration. And no, he actually pretty much did win well this game. Marshall Lynch was a beast. He really did, did beast, beast it up in this game. Another guy who I want to mention, guys, is my middle linebacker, Luke Keekley. And a lot of you guys already know who he is and how much I spend on him. Because, you know, you can get him for free, but it's just that you got to do a lot of things in order for you to get him. And it takes a long time. And I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just going to buy him because he is one of the cheapest cards on that high overall. I was like, he has 95 overall. And this guy is going for 80,000. And you see Ray Lewis over there going for 300,000. And he is the same overall. And I was like, alright, I don't need to buy Ray Lewis. I'm just going to get Luke Keekley and let's see how he acts. And god damn it, he was a hell of a linebacker. He just got an interception in his first game. The guy is good at run stopping. I've seen him stop some runs down the middle like incredible. Like, he will act right before he, the freaking quarterback snaps the ball. He acts where he, he already knows where he's going. So I was like, damn, this guy knows how to run stop. And then when it comes down to passing... He actually zone covers like he knows where to freaking go and where to stand in order for my opponent to throw the ball there. And he was acting pretty much well. And that's why I got that interception. So I'm telling you guys right now, it was worth spending 80,000 coins on Luke Keekly. I know, I know I can get him for free, but I don't have time for that. <laughs> I really don't. So anyways, who else should I mention? Uh, Levante David, one of my outside linebackers. I think he's a right outside linebacker. He didn't perform as I wanted him to, and uh, pretty much uh, left me. I was like, with a question mark on my head, I was like, is this guy going to actually do good, or do I need to change for Anthony Barr? So that battle between Anthony Barr and Levante Davis is still going to go because he didn't do anything this game. I mean, look at this. My free safety did more than Levante David. <laughs> Mike Adams did an interception right there in the goal line, so I was still kind of worrying. And watch this run play. Doug Martin breaking two tackles and going towards the left side. This new Doug Martin is pretty much incredible. He runs faster than the previous one that I have. The other Doug Martin was was pretty good. I mean, 85 overall, same kind of thing. It's just that uh, this new one pretty much has his stats increased by one or by two. So it's kind of like a little upgrade going on there. I think it was still a good pickup though, Doug Martin. The Marius Thomas did manage to catch at least two catches or one catch. And that was his highlight of the day. But he's still a good re receiver. I'm still expecting like a long pass later on in the season. And this little option play, I rarely do it. I really do. Like, I only use it like at least one every other two games. So, <laughs> I did it the last game too, but it's just that, uh, I don't know. It was just an incredible run right there. 40 yards with Joe McKnight. And um, damn, I think I'm going to start doing those like at least one time per game. But in a surprise, though, I'm not just going to do it like whenever I want to. They have to be like in a good good time. Because if you just do it like right away after doing a pass or something, you're not going to throw anybody off. So I'm like running, running, running. Okay, this guy already knows where I'm going towards one side or something. And I throw in the pistol full house and he doesn't even know what the hell's up. So that's why I called that play. 
Um, another thing, my opponent had Colin Kaepernick. He didn't scramble at all. Maybe a few times after he did some play actions, but nothing major. My uh, Jadavion Clowney got like two sacks, and uh, Demontre Moore got like one sack, I think. I'll show the stats towards the end. So, anyways, game over. I won 23 to zero. This team is Super Bowl contender. They really are. How everybody's reacting right now is just a Super Bowl contender team. So I'm going to the Super Bowl, guys. I, I think I really am. With this kind of team, with these kinds of players, I think I really am. My offense is clicking as one. Everybody's running the ball. Jo even Joe McNack, who's not even grinding pound. So if my running game is just tremendous on this game against a random dude, I mean, imagine the other guys who get like harder along the way, who have like legends and everything. Will my offense react the same? I think yes. Because I already have an elite right tackle. My Marshall Lynch is acting pretty good, so... Yeah, Marshawn Lynch was just a, like, I was like, wow, this guy runs like a fucking Ferrari, and he's heavy as fuck, and he has 89 speed and 89 acceleration, he was worth the pickup of the Pro Pack. And that's another thing, guys, I got him off the Pro Pack, 7,000 coins, I didn't waste 50,000 coins on him, I wasted 7,000 coins in order for me to get Marshawn Lynch. Money well spent, well not real money, coins, which is like virtual currency here in, in Madden. So that's it for now, guys. If you guys got any questions about my gameplay, please let me know in the comment section. If you guys, you know, have any questions about my scheme, I'll let you guys know in the comment section too. So if you guys want to see more Madden 15 Ultimate Team, make sure you subscribe. 